Okay, so if you want to follow along with me and create a project in studio in 3D stereoscopic, you're going to need the following items. You'll need a 120 megahertz 3D stereoscopic monitor that has an NVIDIA 3D Vision wireless emitter built into it. The emitter actually communicates with your glasses and has about a 15 foot range. Some of these monitors will actually include the wireless NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 glasses. If it doesn't, you'll need to pick up a pair of those as well. In case you're curious, I'm using the ASUS VG278 monitor and it does have a built-in emitter. If your 3D approved monitor does not have a built-in 3D emitter, you can always purchase the NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses kit, which actually includes an emitter. And of course, you'll need a supported graphics card. If you have any questions on this, go to nvidia.com forward slash 3D Vision for a full list of supported products. That'll be monitors, boards. Some people want to use a 3D projector. That's all there as well. While we're setting up our system, the first thing you'll want to do is, of course, charge your 3D Vision 2 glasses. Simply plug in the USB cable to your computer and then the mini connector to your glasses. When you see a red indicator, it means you'll have less than two hours of a charge left. Green means you have greater than two hours. While the glasses are charging, let's download the latest drivers at nvidia.com forward slash 3D update. Since I'm using a monitor, I'm not using a projector, a notebook. I'm actually choosing certified drivers for all the monitors. Always choose a certified driver if you're new to this and inexperienced. Let the beta drivers be for people that are beta testing and have a little bit more experience. So let's choose certified drivers and you're going to need to choose your type of NVIDIA product, okay, because this works with an NVIDIA card. So I'm using a Quadro card, Quadro FX series, and I'm actually using a 5800. So this is exactly what I want. I'm using Windows 7 64-bit, and I want it in English. Go ahead and search for this, and you can see that it gives me this particular release, 295, and I can go ahead and download it. You have to agree to the terms, and we're going to save this file. Now, I'm going to hit cancel here because I've already downloaded it. I don't want to take a lot of time downloading it while I'm training you guys. Cancel. I put it on my desktop. And now the executable is ready to double click. So let's go ahead and install these drivers together. So whatever the default path is, just leave it alone. Hit OK. OK, the driver installation will now start. Of course, we're going to agree and continue. And let's just use Express. Custom is if you want to use just some basic features like the driver itself. This is going to give us a few extra utilities that we may need. So I want you to use Express. Okay, when you're done, just hit close. And that's it. Your drivers are now installed and you're ready to start setting up more of your uh, hardware. If your setup has one of the monitors that does not have a 3D emitter built into it, you will have purchased the 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses kit that actually includes a little black box that's actually a separate emitter. Let's go ahead and connect the emitter to your computer using the USB cable that's supplied. There's going to be a little light on the front of it. When that's red, it means that the drivers are not loaded yet when it's a light green, it means that it's recognized, but you're not looking at it in 3D. If it's got a very bright green indicator on it, that means that 3D stereoscopic is actually enabled. Just wanted to point out kind of that indicator on the front of that emitter. All right, so let's right click on our desktop and uh, set up our hardware. Let's use the NVIDIA control panel. This will be here now that you've installed the drivers from before. We want to set up Stereoscopic 3D. We're going to skip all of this stuff up here, and we're going to run the setup wizard. Okay, we have to decide which 3D Vision setup that we want to use. The one that we're going to be using today is 3D Vision. The 3D Vision Discover is a different system. That's not the one that we're using today. We're using this one. It has a 3D Vision IR emitter. It's telling us this is already connected. 
That's what we just did. And make sure, like we said before, that you have to have a 3D vision ready display. It's saying that we do. You wanna use a dual link DVI cable for your LCD display, or you're gonna use a DVI HDMI cable if you're using a DLP TV. You'll have to decide how you've got that hooked up. But if you are using the LCD display like the ASUS that I'm using today, you'll definitely wanna use the dual link DVI. The reason for that is a standard VGA hookup is not going to recognize 120 megahertz, and you have to be running 120 megahertz for 3D vision, okay? And obviously you're gonna need the 3D vision glasses. They're probably charging as you're looking at this since we started charging them a few minutes ago. Down here it's telling us because we installed the drivers, that the driver and the graphics driver for the card as well as the 3D Vision have already been installed. So that's exactly why we did it in the order that we did. Let's hit next. And if you want a little bit of an, a reminder on how to hook things up, you can always come back to this setup showing us how to hook this up. Use the on off button, which is this button right here to activate the 3D Vision. You can always push that to make it glow a bright green. And like it says, the light will glow bright green when 3D Vision is activated. And you can always use this little knob on the front if you want to set the depth a little bit deeper. You know, it's going to give you a little bit more of a depth of field. And set it up to where it's comfortable for your eyes. Eventually, if it's too deep, you might get a headache. This is outside of the editing program of Pinnacle Studio 16, which you can actually adjust your settings in there based on the actual program material. This is just overall 3D vision for like video games and things like that. Now this is what's been recommended, single gaming computer in a room running 3D vision where you're not using other consumer infrared devices such as a TV remote control at the same time because it can kind of screw your glasses up. Because remember, this little box, your emitter, uses infrared. So anything else that's going to compete with it is something that you want to stay away from whenever possible. We're gonna select the recommended setup. We did find a 3D vision ready display. Once again, it's telling us what it is. I'm using the Asus. We're gonna go next. Yours is gonna be here, whatever you decided to use. Turn on your glasses. Push the little button on the side. You'll see that it lights up and it remains green for about 30 seconds. And that means that it's actually fully charged up. All right, put on our glasses and we're gonna close our right and left eye and we're gonna look to see what happens. In number two here, it says, select which of the following you see. Look through the left eye only. Close your right eye. And what I'm seeing up on this screen is this. So let's click on that. I'm gonna close my left eye. I am now seeing the triangles. Click on that. Now, I'm looking through my peripheral vision, which is your side vision, and I'm not seeing any flickering or anything like that. Now, if you've got different types of lighting frequencies, sometimes you can see some flicker. If you are, hit yes. It will allow you to adjust the refresh rate a little bit to help eliminate some of that flicker. 120, by the way, is the optimum frequency, so since I don't have any flickering, I definitely want to stick with that frequency, okay? Now... What I'm looking at is this image right here, and if you guys are following along, you're seeing the same thing that I am on your system. Right in the area right here is what I am seeing, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna select this left image because I am seeing stereoscopic. I've read the health and safety information. Sometimes this can cause headaches. It can cause some dizziness until your eyes and your brain get accustomed to this. So make sure that you read this, okay? If there's any issues that you might have in there, talk to your eye doctor or your medical doctor. But that's the reason that this is here, okay? There's some interesting opportunities for you to go look at some hot games here. It's giving you an idea of some possibilities as you're looking at Stereo 3D. Like it says, as your eyes grow accustomed, you can increase the depth using the wheel on the back of the emitter. Uh, you can use shortcut keys to control your depth. Control T typically is going to be just standard 2D. Control F3 will be kind of a medium 3D. Control F4 will be pulling 3D out even farther, okay? So it gives you a little bit more depth. So remember, there are some shortcut keys that you can adjust this as well. And then you can also adjust the depth on the NVIDIA control panel, which is on your desktop. 
And the other thing that you can do is register right here to make sure NVIDIA knows you got this. It'll help not only in tech support, usually you'll get a lot of free cool stuff, you know, and you'll be made aware of the latest, coolest games that are out, as well as any updates on Pinnacle Studio. So definitely register that. I am going to create a shortcut for my photo viewer on the desktop. Actually, I've already got it there. And then if you want, you can launch 3D game images upon finishing the wizard, which I'm going to do because it's very, very cool. You know, this is a great investment because not only is it going to be for your Pinnacle Studio editing, but if you're a gamer, the games are going to take on an unbelievable new dimension that you've never had before. So now my 3D is all set up. It works great. I'm going to close this down and get ready to start editing in Pinnacle Studio.